tables and graphs into equations continued. Now, the video that you have just watched, um, the teacher ended that video with a question that he asked his class. Now, because I don't want to leave you hanging, this is the answer for, for that question, to that question. Right, and here we go. Tables and graphs into equations continued. Right, now the question the teacher ended with was a manufacturer produces a produces 1,025 light bulbs per day. The first part of the question was write an equation to find the number of bulbs B the manufacturer makes in any number of days D. And the second part of the question was use the equation to determine how many bulbs the manufacturer makes in 300 days. Right, so we're first going to start by answering the first part of the question. Now, because this is about the light bulbs, our equation will start with B equals. We want to know how many bulbs the manufacturer um, will make. Right, now because there is no amount of bulbs that we start with. The manufacturer is either going to make the bulbs or not. We are simply going to take the 1025 and multiply it with the amount of days. So it will simply be 1025 times by D. Now using this equation we can set up a table. If the manufacturer doesn't work at all, so on day naught, there is going to be no light bulbs. Or we can do it uh, algebraically. If in your calculator you type in 1025 multiplied by naught, you will see it will give you naught. If on day one we would have manu the manufacturer would have mul uh, manufactured 1025 light bulbs. And day 2, 2050. On day 3, 3075. And then we skip loads of numbers because we actually want to know what will happen here on day 300. So we get to 100. So 100 times 1025 give us 102,500. 200 times 1025 gives us 205,000 and 300 times 1,025 give us 3,007,050. 3,007,500, 3, sorry. Right, so f the, when we use the equation, we can calculate that this is the amount of light bulbs the manufacturer will make in 300 days. 3,007,500 ,007 light bulbs. Right. Now, I am also going to use this table, this information, and put it into a graph. Right. So, first of all, I need coordinates to be able to plot. Right. Now, I'm not going to use this coordinate, 1, 2, and 3. And the reason for that is because I want to actually uh, put in the 300 bul bulbs that was part of question B. So the graph is going to, the, the horizontal axis is going to go on until 300. So these first three values will actually disappear. So when I draw my X and my Y axis, sorry, a little bit skew, the number of days is my independent variable and that will go on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis, sorry. And because the amount of bulbs is dependent on the amount of days that you manufacture, that will go onto my vertical axis. So this axis here will be the amount of bulbs and this axis here will be the number of days. Right, so this is the actual graph. Remember, when we put a graph that we want to tell a story of, uh, we, sorry, when we put an equation that we want to tell a story of into a graph, we need to put a heading. So 
it will be the amount of bulbs manufactured, the amount of children to take the bus to school, um, the amount of cookies you can bake with flour or whatever. But we need to have a heading. Remember, this is as if we're doing a presentation for a for a board of directions, the di directors, and um, we don't want to have if they fall asleep a little bit. We don't want to ha want them to wake up and wonder, well, what is this graph about? So when we draw graphs, we put headings there. The independent variable, uh, the amount of days in this case, goes onto the horizontal axis so here is the amount of days and the dependent variable goes onto the y-axis here yeah, so onto the vertical axis right so first of all we're going to plot that uh, naught naught and then the second coordinate we're going to plot remember we're going to skip 1, 2 and 3 will be above 100 next to um, 102,500, which is more or less there. Okay, so we plot that, and then we can connect that, right. The second coordinate is going to be above 200, Ooh, completely incorrect place, sorry. Um, above 200, where's my cursor, above 200, Next to 205,000, which is more or less there. Let's see if that one is better. Oh, perfect. And then the last one is above 300, uh, 300 next to 307,000, which is more or less there. Huzzah. And now, with this graph, we are able to see where the manufacturer should be at certain days. So at about 50 days, they should have manufactured more or less 50,000 bulbs. At 150 days, the manufacturer should be at, um, let's say, 150,000, 5,000 light bulbs. Right, so we can after we have drawn the graph, we can use the graph to read different bits of information to see whether this manufacturer is on track.